Hello there fit golfers, my name is Carolina and I'm the fit golfer girl. And if you're a golfer, it is very likely that you remember this infamous video. Uh, same pain or different well, pain? Well, it's just my, my glutes are shutting off and then they don't activate and then hence, you know, it goes in my lower back. So um, I, I tried to activate my glutes as best I could uh, in between, uh, but it just, they never stayed activated. Thankfully, that is a part of the past and Tiger is back stronger than ever with his glutes very activated. That is why this week I'm going to be showing you the best glute activation exercises that you can do at the gym or before teeing off for more distance, power and to reduce your risk of injury at the golf course. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up and bring the driving range to your home with one of Rocket Sports Nets. Click the link in the description to get 15% off. Let's get started. First things first, we're going to start this video with an assessment to determine whether your glutes are weak or strong. Don't forget to leave me a comment with your results. To test your glutes, lay on your back with your knees bent. Elevate your hips to get to the top of a glute bridge position and then extend one of your legs. Hold this position for 10 seconds. If your hips started to shake, dropped or became uneven, if you felt most of the strain on your hamstrings or lower back, or if you cramped while holding this position, your glutes are weak. Since the glute plays such a crucial role in core stabilization, injury prevention, and power generation, working on activating and strengthening your glutes will have a huge impact on your golf game. The following exercises are glute activation exercises, which means that they're designed to be performed before an activity, such as playing golf or doing like they at the gym so that your glutes can fire properly, become stronger, and not rely on other muscles to do their work during the exercise. Let's take a look. Our first exercise is called Deer in the Headlight and its purpose is to train and rebuild the connection between your brain and your glute muscles. Start by laying on your back with your hands under your glutes. Begin contracting both your glutes together for 10 reps. Then move on to a single glute contraction. Try not to contract the opposite glute at all while performing these and feel free to poke or squeeze your glutes with your hand if you're having a hard time engaging it. For a lot of people this exercise is incredibly difficult, but with practice and patience you'll get it right. Next up, we got glute bridges. You have seen these in my videos before because they're incredibly effective and should be in every golfer's fitness routine. Start with regular bridges, elevating your hips by pushing through your heels and making sure to tuck your tailbone in and contracting your glutes at the top of the movement. For a harder challenge, try single leg bridges. Make sure that your hips remain even and focus on feeling the movement on the glute of the leg pushing you up. Next up, we got clams. You can do this exercise with or without a band and it's great for activating the glute muscles that help us stabilize laterally during the golf swing and aid in hip rotation. Lay on your side with your knees bent and while keeping your feet together, separate your knees. Repeat on the opposite side. The following reverse clams will work the internal rotators of the hip and will help you stabilize laterally during the golf swing as well. You can put a foam roller, towel or medicine ball in between your legs so that your hips begin in an even position. From here, start turning your top leg upwards while maintaining your leg bent at 90 degrees. Repeat on the opposite side. Next up, we have donkey kicks. This exercise is a staple in any butt lift video, but athletes, including golfers, can also benefit from them. Start on your hands and knees and extend one of your legs back. You will feel a big contraction in that glute. Make sure to kick your leg straight back and avoid going up too high with your leg to prevent rounding in your lower back. Fire hydrants are another great exercise to help prepare your body for explosive rotational movements like the golf swing. Start on your hands and knees, and while maintaining your knees bent at 90 degrees, bring it outwards as far as you can while keeping your hips even. Focus on feeling this movement in your glutes. This variation of the step up is one of my favorite exercises. Find a low step that allows you to lean your upper body over the foot you will be stepping up with. While maintaining this upper body position, Step up by putting most of your weight on the heel of the leg that is up and trying not to push up with the bottom leg. While coming down, try not to put any weight on your back leg by barely tapping your toes and keeping most of your weight on the front foot. Repeat on the opposite side and focus on using your glutes to bring you up with every step. All right, fit golfers, that's it for this week. If you want me to be your golf fitness coach, click the link in the description or check out the Fit Golfer Girl blog to learn more about my online golf fitness training programs. Follow me on social media, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if you have any questions, send me an email at fitgolfergirl at gmail.com. See you guys next week. Mwah.